Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, it's going to be a pretty exciting one because I'm going to bring you along and join you together as we embark on a journey underground to find out how 5G is working down below. Yes, you heard that right. We actually have 5G underground. Now previously, we've actually gone to a couple of trade shows. We've checked out 5G FTTR and all that. And we are already quite familiar with how 5G is impacting us on a user perspective. However, today's video, we're going to go a step further and find out how 5G is actually transforming traditional businesses and industries. So in this case, we're going to check out the mining industry and without further ado, let us go right away. <laughs> Alright guys, we're currently headed into the mine. We've got this setup going on here. Red suits, yellow cap, let's go. Alright, so as we arrived inside the mine, the first thing I noticed was that we actually had 5G networks down below. Yes, that's pretty unbelievable because the connection was actually so stable you could watch videos with it. However, the real use of 5G connections in industries like this is that it allows workers down below to carry out underground operations while keeping those above ground informed at all times. Now by doing so, we can ensure a smoother communication between both teams above and underground to ensure that the mining works are carried out more accurately. Now another cool application of 5G I saw was the use of 5G video splicing and remote control. In layman terms, how this basically works is that multiple cameras are actually installed surrounding the machinery underground. After that, with the use of unique QR codes placed all around the machine, with 5G Cloud, it is able to identify which camera is pointed at which section of the machine. Now this is where the magic happens because the images and videos from each individual camera are then stitched and combined to create a full surround video of the entire machine itself. Now with this full surround video, what can you really do with it? Well basically, workers can now monitor and track the status of the machine such as its efficiency and output all from the comfort of their above ground office. Now this ultimately reduces the need for workers to be underground and their safety are actually more protected. Pretty cool isn't it? Alright, so as we were leaving the mine, I was also informed that with Huawei's 5G technology, workers today can actually use their phones with strong 5G connection to request for a shuttle to get them back to ground. You no longer need a traditional vehicle driven by humans to ferry the workers out. Once a request has been made by an underground worker, a driverless vehicle will then be sent to pick up the workers and shuttle them out from the mine. Now last but not least, when I returned above ground, I realized that I actually saw a lot of different devices and machines and computers all underground and I realized that they were all using different languages to communicate with one another. So this will make it very difficult for data to be collected and processed in an efficient manner. Just think of it at home, say for example, you have a Windows laptop or a Mac or anything like that and they're all using different systems, it will be very very difficult for them to transfer files within one another. So, what Huawei has done here is that with their industrial internet platform, this system is actually capable of breaking down information from each device and it will allow all the different thousands of devices to communicate with one another using a single common language. Pretty cool! So, data will then be collected more efficiently and effectively and this allows Huawei to innovate and push forward an intelligent mining for the future. We will definitely talk more a little bit about this, how digital twins are created in a future video. Alright, so with that said, that pretty much wraps up our first video. I hope you definitely learned something here with how 5G is not just impacting us in our personal lives but also the traditional industries and businesses and how they are actually creating a more sustainable future for everyone and of course, a safer work environment. Now do stay tuned for my next video because like I said, I'll be sharing a little bit more on what a digital twin is all about, how it works and I'm sure you might want to learn about that as well. Alright, so thank you for watching till the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye.